Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about one step equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, v minus 15 equals negative 27. Okay? Well, that minus 15, I got to think, what's the opposite of subtraction? And that's addition. So I'm going to add a 15 to both sides. Okay? This becomes tricky. Right? I have a negative 15 plus 15, and that cancels out. That's V plus 0. Don't really need that. But negative 27 should be plus 15. And here's a, here's a technique you can try. Okay? So in reality, I have, well, negative, hmm, negative 27, a little side note here, negative 27 plus 15. Well, if I pull out a negative 1 from this, I'm left with a positive 27 minus 15, all times negative 1. And if you watch our other videos on the distributive property, I know I can distribute that one negative one back in, and I will get negative 27 plus 15. But what this allows me to do is to think about, I'm going to do it over here, what's 27 minus 15? Well, 27 minus 15, well, 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, and we have 12. So we have negative 1, inside here becomes 12. What's negative 1 times 12? Well, it's negative 12. And so it's negative 27 plus 15 comes out to be a negative 12. Well, v plus 0 equals negative 12. Don't need the 0, so now I'm left with v equals negative 12. That's my final answer. So let's recap. We started with v minus 15 equals negative 27. I need to add a 15 to both sides. Okay? I know the negative 15 plus 15 just became 0, or minus 15 plus 15, 0. Don't need that. But now negative 27 plus 15, that was tricky. So I thought to myself, okay, well, negative 27 plus 15, isn't that the same thing if I pull out a negative 1 to be negative 1 times 27 minus 15? And 27 minus 15 was pretty easy to do. That's 12. So that became here, that 12. Negative 1 times 12. Well, negative 1, I'll put that negative 1 back in, and negative 1 times 12 is a negative 12. And so when I simplify it here, I'm left with v plus 0 equals negative 12. Don't need the 0 because adding 0 doesn't change anything. And now I'm left with the final answer of v equals a negative 12.